I'll be, don't look at my face because I'll be looking at the camera, answering your questions. Yeah. We just want to talk about Baking 101. If you have any questions regarding baking, you're more than welcome to pop in on your screen. And then, yeah, let's take it from there. Baking 101 with Chef Funi. Okay, we've got a question. What is the rational behind not following one is to one ratio of what? Uh, just try to go back to that question. I think got a question from Marcia. Hi, Marcia. Marcia is saying, what is the rational behind not following one is to one ratio? For oh, she wanted to say maybe baking powder and cake flour. Okay, if we look into South African cake flour. We have reduced the wheat content and it's very weak, it's light. That's what I'm suggesting now. In olden days, yes, our mothers, when they bake, they used to the ratio one is to one because the wheat flour was a little bit dense, it was heavy. But now, five years, six years back, we have reduced the wheat content. That's why if you look into each and every packet of flour, cake flour, salt raisin flour, it says cake wheat flour self-raising wheat flour bread wheat flour our content is dropped now that's why we're adding more baking powder into our cake flour or into our flour that's why we're adding a little bit more anyone with questions is it better to use baking paper or is it better to use eh? better to okay wanted to say butter the dish out doesn't matter actually especially when you're making scones for cakes i'll suggest you use the baking paper and then if you're making scones i normally personally i use the baking paper and then my scones don't burn because that paper what it does it also creates like the heat when the heat needs to penetrate into there it reduces the little bit and then the scones won't burn on the bottom and then yeah that's why i normally do but spray and cook you can use butter you can use or margarine just margarine and butter and then just a little bit of Sifted flour on it. That's it. Next question, Chef. Is it a must to roll scones? Not really. Tembi Tembi it's not really that you need to roll scones. I normally use my pet like nicely. Just create a little thickness on it. That's perfect. You don't really have to have a rolling pin. How do you get your scones nice and light? Okay. I've got some things that I wanted to actually show you here. That's my cookie cutters that I use for my scones. After I just pat it dry or make it flat, I cut like that and then also just make sure that the shape is cool and then the temperature of the oven does contribute a lot. The scones needs to be in very, very high temperature. Because remember now, the scones, it's flour that is mixed with cold butter or cold margarine. If, if the margarine start to melt, your scones is gonna collapse as i said perfect very high heat and then also make sure that all your ingredients are cold you need to really work with cold ingredients cold flour cold milk cold marja margarine everything needs to be cold the kitchen also might if you want can be cold but now remember the kitchen is hot we can't really but make sure that everything is cold. Okay, Rotakara, we've got Bridget. How do I get my scones to be softer? They are usually harder after a day. Yes, they will be harder after a day. Why? What you need to do? Honestly, bake your scones, put them in an airtight container when they cool so that the moisture cannot escape and then you're preserving whatever that is in there. But normally scones won't last for more than three days either you can put them in the fridge take them out 30 minutes before perfect but in an airtight container give them that it will be because the moisture is preserving the moisture not to get out because the moment the moisture get out they become dry next question 
morning shave can i freeze them you can if you freeze them i, I normally got actually if i open my freezer now i've got frozen scones let's take them out leave them at room temperature perfect please how do we convert american recipe to south african ingredients it's very very difficult amanda to convert those recipes because if you look into other parts of the world they do have the for example in south africa we do not have all people's cake flour guys we don't but other parts of the world they do have the all peoples other parts we'll talk about the half and half which is half milk half cream we do not have but you can make your own but when we talk about cake flour in Mzanzi we do not have and then most people go to Google their friend and then they try to download recipes sometimes it might not work reason being if it's for example in Australia or wherever the altitude it will depend as I said guys recipes from internet when you bake to me it's a no no unless you know what you're doing where you're gonna have to adjust what is needed for example if you are in Cape Town and if you are in Joburg it differs actually why because now the high we've got high altitude and then we've got the sea level in Cape Town I'm quite sure if the job if now with what time is it if you look into the time now it's 9 52 and then i'm saying i've got my friend in johannesburg and i'm saying okay guy put on the kettle one liter on your kettle put two eggs and then let's boil the egg between the two cities cape town and Joburg, which one will boil quicker than the other then let's go through other questions lord chashe what to take on using buttermilk instead of milk does it help the scones to be softer oh yes it does help the scones to be softer buttermilk remember they normally use buttermilk to make butter i don't know if you know where butter comes from buttermilk it's got fat on it and then milk some milk we do have two percent full cream and low fat milk like when you're making cappuccino when you're making a frost if the milk is less milk uh, less fat on it it does not create the frost now buttermilk got the butter on it Remember, buttermilk is dairy, it's got butter, it's milk, butter, milk on it. Now, your scones will be more fluffy. But now, remember, if you are want to make the, let's say you've got the butter, let's say 100 gram of butter, and then you use buttermilk, it might become more richer. Other people prefer that. Buttermilk, so perfect, we can use it because it's got butter on it. Any questions, quick bit? Okay, we've got Fungi. Oh, it's very clever. She said the one in Joba go oh, ball faster. Yes, because we are on a high altitude and then we are in Cape Town, we in a sea level. And then I don't know how many is it 1500? I'm quite sure. What does the bicarbonate of soda do to scones? Bicarbonate, okay. Bicarbonate of soda. We've got bicarbonate of soda. We've got okay, baking powder actually in South Africa is made of bicarbonate of soda and cream of tartar most people do not know that but check one of my posts where i said you can make your own soft raisin flour at home i think that was a week ago if you want to make your own soft raisin flour at home you're more than welcome and then it got the cream of tartar on it when it goes into the liquid or the steam that's where it creates bubbles those bubbles make your thing rise baking powder it's got cream of tartar it's got bicarbonate of tartar on it Hi, Funi, do you have a book that can help with baking? Yes, my first book also does the tips and tricks on how to bake. But now the second book that I'm working on, it will be more of baking tricks, tips, baking 101. We just delay, but it might be coming out soon. Okay. What is the basic ingredients for making soft biscuits? Okay, biscuits depend on the type of biscuit that you're making shortbread surely it will be from the shortening margarine with the flour and a little bit of corn is it corn flour means dinner cornstarch and then honestly when you're making best biscuits because you want them to last long avoid things like eggs because egg might make your biscuit rotten but some recipe does have that 
and then also the mixing of the biscuits you mix it and then chill it keep it in the fridge and then if you wanna roll roll it bake it quicker also boom best scones biscuits more or less the same whatsapp group all right we've got amanda what is the rule about baking crust before filling what are we referring to amanda we're referring to pastry we talk about maybe the blind baking i'm not sure maybe just be specific but if you are referring to pastry it's just for your pastry if you are going to add the liquid ingredients they might think become soggy that you first blind bake we call it blind bake where you either add a little bit of baking you add baking paper add beans or something which is heavier and then you bake it quickly take them out and then from there you're gonna add your liquid ingredients if you're using eggs or adding milk everything and then bake again i'm not sure if you were referring to that recently baked some muffins but they did they flopped what could have been the problem okay when you talk about muffin we've got the muffin mixing method which is up to me it's supposed to be the simplest but over mixing muffin is just disaster over mixing muffin disaster that's what it's just on the muffin each and recipe that i come across with when talk about muffin it says mix until just combine if you over mix it you're looking for disaster why because everything now becoming liquidized and then we end up like you're making the cupcakes and then it does not rise and then chips and then become more soggy more soft now please you just mix just combine and then boom bake okay any questions Yes, also makes very good stem. You can add wholesome, you can even add cremora. Ah, you add for cremora. You know when you want to create the, what do you call, creamy stem. Ah, wholesome, cremora. Perfect. You get perfect stem, creamy stem with cremora and wholesome. Okay, thank you guys for joining and then yeah if you do have questions you're more than welcome to send me a dm and then love this coffee